Hey everyone, Shane here from freetechtutorials.com and I'm here today with your 18th Java tutorial. In this tutorial today we're going to be looking at nested if statements as well as if else statements. So for our example today we're going to be asking our user for their, to enter their age and then based on their age we'll print out some things on the screen of what, they, what they're able to do or legally allowed to do in the US. So what we've got here already, we've got our scanner class imported. We've created a new scanner and told it to watch the system for input. And we've just created a prompt for our user asking them to enter their age. So let's go ahead and store their age in integer variable. And we'll name that user age. I'll set it to my scanner dot next int. All right, so now what we can do, we can use an if statement to do something based on the age that they enter. So we saw this used in the last tutorial, we'll just do if, open closing parentheses, open closing curly braces. And we'll start off at 18. So let's say if user age is greater than or equal to 18, let's print out a message to our user. So let's say something like you are old enough to vote. Alright, now we want to do something else based on what if they're like 21 and older, what else can they do? So what we can do with this is we can create another if statement. So we'll just go within our original if statement here. And to keep these, when you get nested ifs and nested loops and stuff, it's kind of hard to keep track of it. This is something I like to do, so you can do this if you want. I just like to bring this opening brace down. Um, and you can kind of see, to me, it's a little bit easier to see <coughs> Excuse me, where your if statement starts and stops. So we know that everything in here is within our if statement. So we're going to put an if statement inside of our if statement. So we'll create another one here. It says, what about if our user age is greater than or equal to 21? And we'll go ahead and do that as well. We'll go ahead and print out a message to them saying something like, you are you are old enough to buy alcohol. I think that's how you spell alcohol. Get rid of that space right there. All right. So what we've got here is the first thing that happens is we check: is our user older than, or is are they 18 and older? If they are, come in here. You're going to print out this message telling them they're older to vote, and then we're going to check if if they're older then equal to or older than 21, then we're going to print out this as well. So if they're older than 18, but not older than 21, so say they're 19 or 20, then only this will print out, and then it'll, it'll basically get out of the if statement and run the rest of the program. But what if we wanted something to print out if they weren't 18? Well, what we can do is we can add what's called an else. So we have our main, our outer if statement here. If after that we type the word else and do an open closing brackets here again or curly braces, we can print out something else if there if this isn't true. Okay, so we'll do system out dot print line and say something like sorry youngin grow up. Alright. So what we've got here is we've got our scanner, we've asked our user for their age, we've stored it in the user age variable, we're checking to see if they're 18 or older, if they are, we're running all this code right here. If they aren't, we're skipping down here and we're saying run this right here. And if they're 18 and older, and they're also 21 or older, then we're also printing out this here. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Alright, please enter your age. So let's say what happens if we're eight years old. All right, we got the sorry young and grow up. Perfect. Let's run it again with a couple different ages. What about if we are 18? All right, we get the old enough to vote, but we don't get this right here because this is false because we're not, our user isn't older or equal to 21. So let's try again with 21. And there we go. We got we're old enough to vote and we're old enough to buy alcohol. So, just to reiterate again, so what happens here is we come to our if statement, we check to see their age, we come down here, we'll print this out if, if this evaluates is true, or basically if age is 18 or older, 
If it's not, it'll skip down here to the else and print that out. If it is, it comes, prints that out, and it also evaluates this. So you can see this if is nested inside of this one. And you can do these as many times as you want. So you can do four deep. You could do if, 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 if all the way down. And it's a really great tool to make decisions. So you're saying, you know, if this is true, do this. And if this is also true, do that. And keep on going. Now, there are other ways in Java that are a little bit cleaner and easier if you need to kind of check all those different conditions. Um, but for now, to use a couple nested if statements can really help you grow the complexity of your programs. And the else is really nice too, because we don't have to say if user is less than 18, do this. We can just say else. We don't have to actually write all that another if statement out to do that. So I hope this makes sense. This stuff is pretty powerful. Um, you'll use if statements a lot and if else statements, nested if statements. So I hope it makes sense. If you like the tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.